Hey, man. Hey, how are you? Good, bro. How's it going? Not too bad, man. Uh, Kenny should be with us shortly, unfortunately. Cool. Motley Crue sucks. I can't believe you like Motley Crue. <laughs> Motley Crue's sick, dude. You don't like Motley uh, Crue? You know what's sick is uh, Tommy Lee's penis. That's about it. There, no. So are we recording this, obviously, right? Yeah, this can be like, this can be in it or not. We haven't like so officially you, started. No, it. I don't care. I, I'm just. I don't care either. Um, you got a lot of a lot of subscribers. Yeah, yeah. You seem pretty young. How'd you how'd you manage that? Um, so have you ever seen like these videos of like? I went to the worst reviewed restaurant. I went to the worst reviewed hotel. I went to this. I went to that. Okay, no, but I get the idea. Okay, that yeah, was yeah. It's like a trend that I started. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, it was kind of by accident. Kenny Hot, Kenny's in here. Um, let's let's do this. I don't see I don't see him, which is perfect. Yeah. It'd be nice if I didn't hear him either. It would be perfect. Here we go. He's trying to get in again. Hopefully, he'll be in a bad mood. <laughs> That's when he's funniest or meanest, which the stupid audience likes. So, so I'm working on my computer. I just downloaded Big Sir. You are rude, sir. You're giving me an anxiety attack, Kenny. I thought something was wrong on my end. <laughs> well, I just downloaded Big Sir on my shitty Mac, and now it won't launch for some reason. Big Sir? What is that? That's me in the closet. That's the name of the new operating system. Um, well, what's up, guys? Do you have um any questions like before we start or anything like that? Who does? No. Um, no, fuck it. Let's just do it, right? How's, how's the crab fishing? How's the crab fishing? Yeah, you look like a crab fisherman. <laughs> that's, a, that's a perfect way to start. Spenny was insulting my uh, Motley Crue shirt. Are you, are you a Motley Crue fan, Kenny? I'm I like all music and I'm glad people listen to it. So I'm not a music racist like my friend. <laughs> it begins. It begins. Yeah, Seems like we're good now. Well, I want it on my laptop, not on my phone. My phone will melt. Okay, is this on your phone right now? Yeah. So do you want to make that switch right now? I'm going to try. Hang on. See what a pain in the ass he is. <laughs> <laughs> the crab fisherman took me a second. This this is not a crab fisherman. Not hat. really. I know. I know. It's like a I fun know. little, uh, you know, it's fun boy. Nor, nor nor am I racist. He's he's uh, he's on a roll of idiocy. It's okay. <laughs> How's Spenny's flip phone doing? I get it. Flip phone. Very funny. <laughs> Spenny's dressed like he's on intervention. <laughs> I used to text with those. Do you remember they had the three letters and for each number, like a phone? Title yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me three days to write hi. <laughs> okay. Where are you? In my basement. Not you, you idiot. Where am I? I'm in. Uh, I'm in Vancouver. The Cove. The Cove. The red zone. Yeah. Well, what do you mean red zone? The for COVID. Yeah. Yeah, dude, we were doing so good for a while, and we're, we're fucking up now. You guys have been fucking up the whole time, though, in Ontario. Well, we're an international city. You're fucking East Hastings zombie land. <laughs> oh, it's, it's more than East Hastings, man. It's more than East Hastings. That is the one of the worst places on Earth. And I lived in Venice Beach for 11 years. Man, um, uh, one of my biggest videos is just walking around East Hastings. It has, like, over... Uh, million hits and uh just interviewing people like everyone there has a story it's, it's super trippy yeah i we were i was walking there with our friend and uh there are two people banging naked on a piece of cardboard and oh I, and man and uh spenny didn't actually last that long but <laughs> yeah I walked, I walked down. she I, was I, a ho was that spenny she was a hot junkie. I couldn't last. I busted. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've seen all sorts of crazy shit there. I've seen like literally like two ambulances, like literally across the street from each other, like two dudes overdosing on either side of the street. Good laugh. And, uh, it's funny, man. How it's not funny, but uh, how there's like all these cheap motels there too. So that every year there's people that are like, 
oh, let's let's go to Vancouver, honey. Like, check out the oh, this yeah. hotel is really cheap. And then they end up in fucking <laughs> Yeah, that <laughs> is on that is one of the worst places on earth. And I've been to yeah. like Bucharest and you know, uh some really shitty fucking places. Yeah, man. When I was doing the video there, there was one there was one dude that was like, yo, do you know do you know about Piss Alley? I was like, what is Piss Alley? He's like that's where everyone goes to score heroin. You, you got to film there. So he takes me to this alley and it just reeks of piss. I don't know how, but it just smells so strongly of piss. And uh, there's people. literally just like 20 people shooting up and like three like heroin dealers just like standing in the corner waiting for like the next. And like police are driving past this place every day, a million police cars. No one gives a shit. And I was like, yeah. how am I going to film here? I'm going to pull out my camera, get my fucking face kicked in. So it's pretty crazy. Well, if you can't get your face kicked in when you pull out your camera, you're not in the right place to shoot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good attitude. Um, all right. So I have two legends with me from the show Kenny versus Spenny. Kenny and Spenny, how are you guys doing today? Hey, meh. Meh. Uh <laughs> I hate the fuck this bullshit start. I feel like it was better when we were just winging it, right? Good. It's give structure. Annie and Spanny. Um, I'm trying yeah. to get my phone standing on these fucking pillows. Yeah, all right. What, what my webcam right now is standing on a candle. So this is all because you made Spenny send me the link. The guy is so <laughs> technically <laughs> inept. Oh, good. Technically, I have a Zoom app on my phone. I opened it. I put in the meeting. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to use my phone. I want to use my laptop. Well, what are you using now? My phone, because my laptop doesn't work, because you sent me the link. So you want to use something that doesn't I'm just going to be like you. You're just an asshole today. No, not at all. But you don't cut and paste the link into somebody's email. You send. You just forward the invitation. I never, all I ever got. I never got anything more than that. You never got a invitation for you sent me the invitation he did okay and good. I, well that's what he should have done from the beginning he lives Just, first where everybody is wrong and he is right and and he doesn't no no that's not true him. that's not true it's just if i just you wanted it moron. i didn't want you to send me the invite i wanted him to send me the invite did you, did you do you think i'm a moron when it comes to technology do you yeah i, I admit it but i was okay, right so why are you asking me because no, I think you're. I think you're. You're. You're frigging Copernicus. You're like Bill Gates. Copernicus. Who's Copernicus? Your boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. Well, I know who Copernicus is, and I, who sir, am Copernicus. Who is he? He was uh, an astronomer who realized that uh, a whole universe doesn't revolve around the Earth; that it revolves around the sun. You idiot. You you revolve around everyone's sun, especially in playgrounds. Oh, that's a N. Okay, here we go. All right, you're getting the goods now, Junior. Oh man, it's, he's wearing it's a Motley so, It's so bucket. epic to see this in person. It's it's so epic. Um, to real quick to get in here. Um, I don't know why that's epic. He's rude <laughs> and mean. Why do people love this? I it's don't just because I've I fucking you know stayed up like so many nights watching you guys do this shit, and now I'm seeing it for real. It's just kind of cool. Why is why is Spenny dressed like he he's in rehab? You want to know something funny, Kenny? Does this not look familiar? This is the Kenny versus Spenny bathrobe. I'm still, I've been using it for 20 years. Spenny, you're dressed like the the end of the Who's Cooler episode. See, uh, Spenny, yeah, this is the Spenny. Robe from the, the suitcase rant. The, this is the same, the exact same belt from the suitcase rant. Real rant. ones know about the suitcase rant. You know, you like, uh, Spenny joined the band, Motley Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up, dude. Sign me up. The crew. You Papa John Phillips with that hat on? The fur hat? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> well, you're turning on me too now, Spenny. I, I turn on you. Don't, don't get too cozy with me. <laughs> I'm a fucking hair. I've got um, arthritis. Can you see how swollen my, I've got arthritis now in my fingers and I'm a fucking guitar player. I'm on this medication that makes me crazy. Anyways, yeah, go I, I know, I know how you got arthritis in it. <laughs> yeah, Spenny, you mentioned like being on. I watched Paldemic yesterday, and you mentioned being on like antidepressants. Like, I I take Ativan with me everywhere I go. I don't take it super often, but 
I, sometimes I get anxiety and I need to have one like maybe like twice a month. But um, every time I go in for Ativan, they try to fucking push the antidepressants on me. I always say no, but did you, I don't know, maybe this is too personal. You don't have to fucking. No, I, my, life, my life's an open book. First of all, I'm very disappointed that you don't take all the Ativan at once because it's actually quite a buzz. Uh, but it's very <laughs> uh, addictive. You're very responsible. I have to respect that. Uh, I'm in a very, uh, you know, medium sized dose of an antidepressant and it 100% has helped me, uh, you know, and they're hard. God, to if this is you on antidepressants, Jesus Christ, what do you like without them? You, you know, you know, like better. It. so um, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, it depends. I mean, is it is is your depression interfering with your ability to do your work or whatever the hell you do? And if it isn't, don't go on them. If 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 you really need them, go on them. Did they have right. to like talk you into it though, or were you in a space in life? Yeah, yeah. 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 talk you into doing no, drugs. Try, yeah, uh, come on, talk me into it. <laughs> they had to talk me out of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, as a YouTuber, I gotta say, like this idea of like you two guys in a house and there's like a camera crew there and there's editors there and every day you guys are doing some new like crazy thing this is like what every a lot of big youtube channels are trying to do now and um the difference is they either like fake everything or they have like nowhere near the fucking balls that you guys have um for it's super cutting edge super ahead of its time what you guys did like do you think the show was fully appreciated when it was on because it feels like the cult following just gets stronger and stronger as time goes on like it doesn't matter how long you guys have been off the air well i i spenny always felt like it was over appreciated and i always felt like it was under though you know we were losers and then we got famous so we were extremely happy that anything happened you know you gotta you know once you put it out there you kind of take it out of your hands and it does what it does and we got we got extremely lucky you know we're probably one of a handful of canadian shows that ever you know popped in the u.s and made it internationally and you know i walk down the street sometimes and and you know sign old ladies tits like it's 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 yeah. crazy and we are getting more famous i i really don't understand to me I, we're kind of like the fate the what faces of death was for us just that video that nobody could really get their hands on and once they did they shared it with all their friends you know it's cut. It's because you guys I, were sorry. On this, yeah, there's two of us. Remember that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I agree with Kenny. We definitely were lucky, but I think the one thing we were most lucky uh, with was that we we are to a certain extent a natural, real comedy duo. Meaning that if you study the dynamics of a comedy duo and you met two guys in real life that are kind of like that. Uh, that is what the luckiest thing of all because our fathers were friends and we met each other and we're so different everything about us is really kind of different which is what you kind of need for a comedy duo i'm the straight man you know i never intended to be it's just what it naturally is and he's the funny crazy one so it's just a natural luck thing that happened that that, that we became friends and we we remained friends and we started you know working together before we ever got tv shows and it's it's uh, I think that's a huge part of of our success is due to that. But no one really knows it unless they have any kind of sophisticated knowledge of comedy dynamics in, within a comedy duo. I think the differentiation between the YouTubers now and that the kind of uh, self dogma document, you know, content uh, documentation of families or, or individuals is um we 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 think the audience is is intelligent we, we didn't do anything to dupe anybody we didn't know that there'd be an audience so it's not like we're actually you know milking shit to get a bunch of fucking you know tiktok idiots to watch us like yeah. now people know that you can make 150k a fucking week so they're doing everything in their power to milk that shit and they they have a, a trajectory and there's they have you know, people that they can emulate to, to, to be extremely successful. Um, most of those people that they're copying are, are, are fucking boring idiots, but they're still extremely successful. We didn't really have a template or a blueprint or, or any gauge of, of who we were talking to or what we could accomplish. And so 
you know, I just wanted to, you know, make Spenny as funny as possible. And, and you know, I just went, you know, I, I never wore makeup, which he kind of, you know, yelled at me for. I looked like a vampire with AIDS and, and, and we just shot the fucking shit out of it constantly and, and, you know, didn't really know what we were doing as well. So, and that kind of evolved and we still kind of don't, but, but I think, I think the difference between us and a lot of, you know, people, even Tom Green and Jackass is they kind of, people enjoy doing this stuff on YouTube or wherever and TikTok. Like, we never really enjoyed it. Like I, I did kind of enjoy it, but it was just so much work and, and it's a different medium television, you know? Um, so uh, we weren't doing it for the internet. It just turned out that it migrated to the internet, which is almost, you know, very hard to do it's almost impossible for something from the internet to migrate to television and Epic Mealtime or all these other shows or, you know, certain things that migrate from the internet to television have a tendency not to work. Whereas um, television has a very hard time migrating to the internet and we've kind of done both, you know, even our internet stuff kind of works on various levels with various de demos and women like us too. We never thought women would like us. And, um, that was a real surprise to me. Yeah. Um, the thing is, like, those YouTubers you think are enjoying themselves because they're not doing anything, like I said, on the level that you guys were doing. Um, but they're not really suffering either. They're all kind of, like, exactly. cheesy, and they're, it's all a facade, and they're all pretending to be happy, but they're all cutting their their ankles at night with, you know, bobby pins and slowly going fucking insane. Yeah. Um, and, and social, you know, the, the facade of, of social media is all this, it's all bullshit. It's all plastic commercial, you know, yeah. mascara. I, mascara. I, I think that a lot of, and I don't know, Kenny would know more about the YouTube scene than me and you would too, but I think that there, a lot of them are trying to be famous. They're not trying to do good work necessarily. Uh, but Kenny and I, uh, on top of being a natural comedy duo, we're also comedy nerds and music freaks so you know we we measured what we did to sctv and anything like that and our heroes right. and we See, tried good spenny's all and the way he thinks about it and talks about it is totally wrong we're not no. a comedy duo and we're not this time that we turned out that we were, it were. Turned out that, we were. excuse me let me talk no, it turned no. out that, you it had turned your... out don't tell yeah, me but you're, you're wrong you're, you're making it sound like we're fake when the, the real thing is no, actually real it turned it's out that we we duo. we shared some of the same attributes that comedy duos have and it was natural but i think right. the, the the great That's thing about uh, let me finish i think the great thing about us is that never before have have there been guys who are really willing to expose their personas or the male egos or make guys look shit or to do stuff that was really real and air their dirty laundry. And I don't think anyone on YouTube or these places are willing to, you know, show how fractured or broken or fucked up they are. Whereas to us, it was, it was anything that was real goes like, like I, I live in, in my world is dogma. If it's real, we do it. And I think people think it's fake because, uh, you know, um, we, you, you cut a week into 20 minutes and add some Mozart and all of it. It's so slick and great. And our editors were so fucking amazing. Oh, it looks fucking fake. Dude, did Spenny really do acid? Yeah, he did acid. It's not a big fucking deal to it doing, drinking acid that your friend gives you. Did he really, you know, eat shit popcorn? Yeah, yeah, he did. It's not, it's not a big deal, you know, pooping out popcorn and then putting it in a popper. Like, you know... Oh. It, and he really drank beer. We really smoked weed. And, and you know, people say, oh, you can't do that. And like I said, go watch fucking Intervention where guys are jabbing meth into their cocks. Yeah, you can do it. We were the first to do it. And we invented Intervention. I think I had the first Intervention on, on, on television when I sent in those guys to during the beer episode. And, we, and I think we invented, um, what's that other show where those guys are, they, go, they, they have an earphone in, someone else's jokers yeah I, that was a humiliation i did eight years before they even started I i'm not that. Say, i'm not saying they took it or saw it they, but you know i invented that i was the first person to put an earphone in spenny's ear and make him go and buy a kid off the street off yeah. the parents 
Yeah, for what it's worth, for what it's worth, I got to thank you guys for like, I, I don't give a shit about YouTube either. And like, I got big on it accidentally. I was fucking like delivering pizzas at the time. And my only frame of reference for like what's tight was like you guys or maybe like Nathan for you and uh, people, people respect, people respect like, not to sound cliche, but like the realness of that kind of shit, you know? But I don't think that like, I, like, I, I like Nathan for you. We're not Nathan for you. We're these real guys. And I tried to whack off my audience and Spenny tried to look like a hero and, and it worked, but there's, there was no surreptitious bullshit trying to, you know, get people to like us or anything like that. And the important thing was, I just wanted, I just wanted it to be real. And, 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 and because we're, we were documentary guys. So, so, you know, I, any association we're associated with kind of, you know, pisses me off because, you know, the more episodes you watch, the more, you know, complex and, and the more show falls into its context. You know what I mean? Like you really, you know, it, it, to me, the show would have happened if, there weren't cameras there. It's a voyeuristic window into these two fuckers lives. And, uh, and it's that simple. It's so simple. On the flip side of you guys being ahead of your time. And I, I want to know what Spenny thinks of this because like you were on the receiving end of all this crazy shit, right? Like the getting slipped the acid, like getting tricked into these sexual situations with like the pre-op transsexual like the episodes, Kenny with the disabled people, like, so like on the flip side of you guys being ahead of your time, do you think any of this shit would fly today? <laughs> don't know. I don't know. But I know one of the reasons I'm so gullible is because I, I didn't have, I'm an only child. Yeah. I, I'm but basically, I'm basically a loner. So it, when I became tight with Kenny, he had all this, this back story of a brother and his shenanigans and, and his pranks and all that stuff i i, I was never exposed to any of that uh what and I then then there was a point where you don't want to be you don't want to insult the audience where i i knew who he was i'm a smart guy uh and then it, it just became a matter of you know just be yourself and let things unfold because you, you can't have a show if i just hid from him or you know what I mean? Like you, you just have to, I just agreed to not know what was going on. I agreed that my camera guys knew what he was up to, but I didn't, it was the only way to capture reality. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think, I, I don't think Benny's still not explaining what the audience wants to know. You, the problem is, and the questions me, from, shut up, shut up. Fuck. I, my thoughts are valid. Let's go backwards a little bit. All I said was that we are natural guys who actually have comedic. First of all, first of all, you look like comes on and he starts saying that's that Spenny's wrong and repeats look, just what I said. No, no. First of all, you look like Rosie O'Donnell after liposuction. So right. the, okay. even looking at you is making me physically ill. Okay. But what what I, what no, you aren't deconstructing the what the audience wants to know. The reality is a Spencer knew I was cheating and he always tried to find out how I was cheating. He was always, you know, looking around and doing shit. And he didn't realize I was putting acid in the orange juice or, or getting a cap of bears. So, so my cheat cheats were so obscure and eclectic and came out of left field that he could never actually guess what he was, what I was doing, but he always tried to, he's sitting here going, Oh, well, I let the, you know, I, I let the crew know. And I just be, I was just me. No, he was a rat, and he he tried he constantly tried to ruin the show to find out what I was doing. But my my stuff was so Machiavellian that he could never figure out what it was. And he wasn't he in the octopus. He was he was looking under my hat, trying to see how I cheated, or or and or, but he didn't think there'd be acid in the oranges. Who would ever think that? So he could never guess. But he always tried, and that's why he's I a slime ball. Hard, I. Yes, obviously, if something like that, where you're wearing a hat all of a sudden, I'm going to look under your hat. But you're making it sound like... But you didn't. I, you asked to look under my hat, and I said, oh, yeah, go look. And you, you didn't, because you're a lazy, stinky Jew. Um, I'm, I'm jealous of you guys, in a sense, because, like, cancel <laughs> culture is so crazy now, man, that, like, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you guys got away with all this crazy shit. We still do. Yeah. Dude. You know, the problem is, at least with me, I'm sure Kenny will correct me on my own personal views because he knows me better, apparently, than anybody else. But the reality is the problem with cancel, cancel culture 
is that they actually believe everyone's supposed to like and respect them. That's not freedom. That's not reality. It's never going to work. In fact, it's going to entrench the other side. Kenny and I do live shows. You can't believe what comes out of our mouths. I'm outright hostile to an audience that pays to see us because it's honest and real. I'll never bow down to that cancel culture because it's fundamentally flawed. It's fundamentally flawed. Yes. Yeah, the only, I, the I, only... I, they, they mean well, I'll give them that. They probably mean well, but they got to wake up every day and say, you know what? There, there's going to be people that just don't like me for good reasons and bad reasons. That's life. Mm -hmm. I, I always all... saw, yeah, sorry. oh, sorry. I just, I always saw, and I never really said this, but I always saw Kenny versus Spenny that I basically just wanted to do 9 11. What is the closest to the footage of 9 11 that we could do in a television show where it's just, real and there's no fucking bullshit and you're just watching this and it's just happening and mm. you you'd never think it would happen but you realize once it did that or you said oh this this is real this i probably thought this would happen or i cerebrally i could i, I could understand this and and i it almost makes me so mad that people think it's fake and Oh, in the gorilla episode or some girls giving Spenny an espresso and they think it's a fucking empty cup of coffee. It, it makes me crazy. Uh, in the goat episode, I switched the rope on my foot because, yeah, I went to the can. I took the rope off. And when Spenny wasn't around, we just didn't use the footage. I tied it on the wrong foot. Like, I don't even give a shit. And then there, you know, there's conspiracy guys saying our show is fake. It is not fake. It, 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 that, it, 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 it's so it would we don't even have the ability to do fake because it's too much fucking work and spenny's the worst actor on the planet like I, we can't do fake you know but when you're shooting 30 40 hours a week and um you know some editor uses footage of you know some crew guy jumping around in a gorilla costume after i'm on a, a comedy central phone call with matt and trey and you can't do it in a fucking mask it's like you know, I need five minutes, quick break, it's lunch. Like we have to talk to Comedy Central. All of a sudden our show's fucking fake. It makes me fucking crazy. Yeah, it would be harder to fake it. That's what people don't get. It'd be like so hard to make it seem- We didn't have the time. We are with it every day, 90 episodes every fucking day. Like <laughs> we didn't even have a, a, like a staff. Like, yeah. you, know, you know, I, I like to find gay guys to molest him was like, incredible like it's it was, it was it, it's so real that's the only way it could have worked because we didn't have the ability to do anything fake um but the into... problem is it's edited so well and the music's so tight and the stories are so narrative that it's like oh god like we can't believe it worked there's shows like cow which are terrible terrible episodes that have the best ending of the entire fucking series but if his cow didn't run away <laughs> boom we have a dud you know so so yeah. You know, I, we just had a fucking, you know, Satan watching after us and sharing the goat hoof powder of love, sprinkling it <laughs> Correction. on Spencer's loins, loins. You said something about me wanting to be a hero. Never. The worst thing I do is I try to educate, just like I did about cancel culture just now. Yes, I feel I, I am self-righteous that way. That's all I ever wanted to do. I'm certainly not a hero. I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. It's a stupid thing to say. It's Kenny, shut up. But oh, Spenny, yeah? I think it is. Yeah, I'm do so want Do you want to see me give Spencer a boner? Give, do it. <laughs> what, do you just have that? Do you just have that waiting? Yeah, it's what I use for condoms. Okay, okay. No, are, um, that's what Spenny left it here last time it was over. Oh, God. I, I think it is big for Spenny to say that about cancel culture because Spe like so much shit has happened to Spenny that he could like go cry on Twitter and like this and that. But for specifically no, Spenny to be against cancel culture, that's so big. Like that's huge. No, well, I think I get I get, I get uh, laden with uh, being a snowflake because, you know, sure. I, I think it's terrible that we can't go outside without slathering ourselves in sunscreen because we're destroying the ozone layer. Like there's that part of me, but that doesn't make me a snowflake. That doesn't mean I'm down the line, you know, politically correct on everything. My God, I'm part of a TV show that was, you know, as about as politically incorrect as it could get. I just think people need to, you know, just uh, 
Fucking don't, you can't force your put your opinion on other people. You just can't. And then you've got it. Then the other thing is Kenny's going to make the snoring noise any minute. The other thing that's important is you can tell when somebody says something like Kenny's not a racist. I know that I wouldn't work with him. He's, he's actually, he's an asshole, but he's a nice guy most of the time. So when he makes the most racist jokes in the world, it doesn't bother me one bit. I'd rather have him not being a racist, making race jokes than some guy who Racist. When do I make racist jokes? Oh my God. In our live show? What? How about on the show? How about the fried chicken? Uh, yeah, but that, no, that's just me trying to piss you off. I'm not. You I'm, know. I'm saying you're not racist. God, fuck your. So you're so oppositional to every fucking word. You say I'm the N word right. all the time. You say the N word all the time. You know I don't. And, and by now, the way, what are your favorite chips? What, what are your favorite chips? Salt and what? I'm not, I'm not falling for that stupid. Dalton listen, White. Listen. <laughs> I've never heard that one. What's your name? What's your name? Motley Crue? I forgot your name. Marco or something? What's your name? <laughs> My name is Philip. <laughs> Philip. Hey, Marco. Hey, Marco. Well, some, I'm getting emails from a guy named Marco. Am I not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. That's so, um, so, so I'm not a snowflake. In fact, uh, in fact I'm, I'm far from it. And especially coming out of the Trump era, if you want to start talking about reality. Oh, God. Yeah, those don't, guys, you and your stupid politics, who cares? Like, you're going to affect anything. I don't. I don't. I do it for myself. It's called catharsis. You wouldn't understand what that is, but it, it's important for me to, to, to say I did something. It's just like all the people who protested in Vietnam, man. They can at least look at themselves and say, fuck, I really protested a good thing. And they should be proud of themselves. And I feel the same way about Trump. And you're disingenuous because you don't like Trump. You just have to be fucking oppositional. Do you like Trump? But your catharsis, isn't he that you're that famous Roman porn star from all those gladiator movies you watch? You know, you know, Kenny. Did you hear about the porno uh, Roman film, Gladiator? Um, See, how come when I do it, it's not funny? So <laughs> <laughs> um i want to i've seen you guys asked a lot like what's your favorite and least favorite episode of the show but i want to ask you guys like what episode did you feel your friendship was the healthiest in and what episode was did you guys just well, not... i think you i think you know that i i'm not i was gonna guess you guys liked each other the most in the who can smoke more weed and disliked each other the most in every in... other one in every other one no that see i always love him i love he hates oh. kenny versus spenny is happy versus unhappy i always oh. loved him i always oh. loved him and i always i always did what i did to him so that, we have an audience, you know, so that we would have an audience and oh, and he'd, he'd have a he'd have a life and you are he, he so always fought against it but i did whatever i needed to do to make kenny versus spenny successful and that's why we're here. And that's why you're talking to us. And it's because I love him. I come from a family of this love. He is. comes from, I am an, a middle child of a very loving family. My parents were married for over 50 years. Spencer's an only child from a family who was divorced and, and they're drug addicts. And, and his mother abandoned him as a child and left him for some actor who worked on Dallas. Like whose mother abandons you and her husband and runs away with an actor to California? Spencer's mother. Did your mother abandon you as a child? Uh, you are not getting away with this. Yes or no? This is this is the this is like listening answer to the, the question. Answer. answer the question first. I don't have to answer the question. Am it's I true. under some kind of fucking subpoena to answer? No. Who, who the fuck are you? Let me tell you something, Kenny. You know who I am. I'm your you best just, friend. You just, you just live in your narcissistic world where you You're do the everything narcissist. right. Everybody You're does the everything wrong. You're the only reason for the success. You just keep doing that. I'm going to keep we, doing my if, thing. If we left it to you, you'd be doing Dinobots or whatever the hell you wanted to do. Dynastronauts. Dynastronauts. And see, we'd be rich. He, and we'd be so rich. Ups, he's so obsessed with, with Paw Patrol that he just wanted... He no, wanted I to want the money. I want the kid show money. See, he wants money. He does shit for money. He's a sellout. Yeah, I, what I happened with, for art. What happened with this Ponzi scheme you guys were talking about in the Paldemic special? Yeah, I, well, that's, I lost. I lost a lot of money. Kenny makes it sound like I lost everything, but I lost a significant amount of money. Big and deal. But you lost. I'm, I'm not the first. But you lost everything. You lost everything. Well, I clearly didn't lose lose everything, but I well, lost a lot. I lost a lot. 
So well, if I have a hundred dollars and I lose ninety nine dollars, that's not everything. But no, you know, when you lose everything, then I'm in living in a homeless shelter with Gordy. That's never happened, thank God. Um, is there any behind the scenes stories of the show that the fans might not know? I know I read one about uh the who can make a better porn episode if it's true you guys probably already know what i'm talking about but uh i don't know i don't know what What's is that, that? When Spenny screwed the porn star i have the footage of that yeah so so, so yeah. i have that footage so what yeah, what's the big was, deal so what's I, the big deal why why is crazy? that a big is deal? A i wasn't crazy, married like a crazy who story the fuck cares? No, it's the problem is that he's such a rat. He's he he try it, it, keeping no, him keeping rat. him she in the show. She wanted to have sex with me. She wanted to have sex with me. Okay, so what's, but so what's I your filmed, point? Ken? What's your point, I, Kenny? My what's point your is fucking I, point? I filmed him having sex with a porn star, which is probably illegal. You're not allowed to have sex with a, someone that you hire on your show. Correct. Yeah. That was a big mistake, yeah. right? And then he goes, "Do you mind if we show it at the live show?" To which I go, "Yeah." I don't. Well, what happened was ahead. I. That was my porn. That was him, a secret secret footage of him having sex with an employee. And right. and if he if I showed it, he'd quit. So I had to run off and go do my own videos. But that's a time where a, a diabolical scheme fell short and the audience suffered because Spencer's so concerned about his persona. Well, not anymore. I, I, you show it in the live show. Because yeah, you're so... Because you're beaten want down. It, at, at the time, you're a narcissist. I was... You're a narcissist. Okay, I'm hanging up. No, Marco, no. it was great to see you. Have fun. God bless you. Uh, God Spenny, bless you. It's dope. It's tight. It's dope. It's dope. <laughs> Don't hang up, baby. Um, well, we're we're hanging up soon. This is how much long. how much longer do you need me for? Um, yeah, he's okay. got important things to do. I'm a multimillionaire. Okay. Okay. Um, Ask Spencer okay. if I'm a multimillionaire. Okay. Spencer is he? Yeah, yeah, he's he's worth 30, 40 million bucks. Big deal. Is that true? Not 30, 40. Yeah, so how did that how does that happen? Is it through the show? I mean, I I know you also own like a a pub. Yeah, I don't I don't marry idiots and give my money to fucking losers. (laughs) Um yeah, here if you guys want to, I'm just going through to my last couple questions. Um the show, the show gets compared a lot to like Jackass and all this kind of shit, which is which is cool. But I think it doesn't get credit for like it opens up this like moral almost discussion where like if you watch the first couple episodes, you're like, oh, OK, so it's like good versus evil. And Spenny's the good guy. He does things by the book. Kenny cheats. Kenny fucks with him. Good versus evil. But then you watch the whole show, you guys are both like, you know, fucking with each other, doing all sorts of whatever, right? And then, Kenny, I've heard you describe the show as happy versus sad. Spenny, is being the good guy worth it? First of all, level? first of all, any anybody who thinks they're happy is lying to you or they're delusional because human beings are faced with the curse of understanding and being conscious of who we are and that we're uh, beasts that are going to die. So that whole happy thing is just garbage. I, I, I'll never accept it, no matter what he says. You uh, is he happier than me? Happy. Yeah, maybe. What? You, what? you won't, Are you saying you won't accept that people can be happy? Well, not smart people. I don't know how they can be happy. Mm. They, could have fleeting, they could have Schle- fleeting happiness here and there. Sure, of course. Schleprock right. is happier than you. I, I never said I was happy. Did I? Did I say once that I'm happy? In fact, I wear I wear my depression proudly. Uh, uh, and I, I don't think I just don't. I think happiness is kind of bullshit. It's kind of like, you know, the, the mythology of love that everybody and then they get married and they realize, holy fuck, it's not like that. And they get divorced and there's broken homes. I'm a realist. Kenny, it's not I would say it's not about happy versus unhappy. It's about uh, a Machiavellian versus an on, honest. That's or I also say is. that that I don't it was I, I don't care versus I care. And the fact that he yeah, cared that, that's that's possibly true, too. But I, I think it's more about Kenny has a personality and it's, it's a lot of people are like that. They know how to maneuver through life very cleverly. They think very strategically about life. And then people like me who are just who uh, can't even I, send, I, a, I, my can't send a Zoom invite. What? And people like you can't even send a Zoom invite to their friend. 
That's yeah, funny. I mean, I managed, I managed to get on with what they gave me. I don't know why you couldn't, genius. Yeah, I'm Kenny. I'm guessing you disagree with this stuff about like people can't be happy and. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, it's I, like what I disagree with, what I disagree with, is Spencer thinking that he he knows anything. I don't think any of us know enough about anything to really make a comment, unless oh really, you know, they, that's they, so they, stupid. They, they have certain, you are so stupid. How do you 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 hate people? Nobody. You, you, you haven't met, you've never researched it. You're not a psychologist. Or I've read books, or, Kenny. I've read books. Oh, I read, I read books. many yeah, books. I read. I read. Yeah, you read the Enema Bag Rapist. That's the book you read. Yeah. Oh, I read the only books. book that he ever read. Smart. Yeah. Exactly. No. That. Uh, who do? What's up? Story. You read Mind Kampf. Oh, you're a genius. <laughs> what um, books? Look, he's a moron. He's just. He's just in his. He's. He's got his whole story set, and he's gonna bash me. I'm used to it. I'm I don't care. You. I'm now he's saying don't know reading enough, books doesn't you don't make know you smart. Reading you books doesn't make you smart. It. Okay. Okay, Kenny. Yeah. You don't. Well, no. It depends what books you read. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Well, of course, I agree. I read books about philosophy. I read books about life. I read books. Mm. My favorite book ever is uh, Denial of Death. That's where a lot yeah. of my thinking comes from. Mm. Now you're going to patronize me with that stupid face of yours? Fuck off. Um, denial of Death. Yeah, well, Denial of Death. He Enemag, Enemabag Rapist. <laughs> Your autobiography. Uh, do you no, guys want to? He's wanna... extra mean. He's extra mean, Marco. I told I'm not you. mean. I, I'm, I'm not mean. I'm not. Whatever the fuck. You I'm just. I'm just not. I'm just not bullshit. And you're bullshit. I. I you are total bullshit. People dude. are unhappy. Everyone's. Nobody's happy. No, I, I didn't say that. that. I said if they're happy, they're delusional. That's what okay. I fucking said. What about if they're and unhappy? I said that also delusional. said that people had fleeting moments of happiness. I said that too. But you don't care. You're just in your fucking corner with your boxing. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes with the crying. It doesn't Relax. matter. It doesn't, you know what? People you know what? will see you, you for what you Chardonnay. are. They'll see me you, for what they are. You need a little Chardonnay like spritzer. The mamas and the papas, a Chardonnay spritzer. Sit back, listen to some tunes, be happy, relax. Enjoy your life. You're the most unrelaxed human being I maybe ever What are you talking about? I'm totally okay. chill, bro. Oh, totally chill. <laughs> You're totally chill. Oh, my God. Oh my God. What can I tell you? Yeah. Um, do you guys, do you guys want to tell the people about your new year's special? No, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're doing a, uh, we're doing a uh, guess who came up with the Jew years heave title. It wasn't me. And we're going to be going you're live. Not funny, Cause you're not funny. Three to five, three to five o'clock uh, on new year's Eve. Uh, but if you're, outside of that time three zone. Three to five o'clock when? It's the three to five o'clock when, Copernicus? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Where would be PFT, EFT, Mountain Time Central, Azerbaijan? Eastern Standard Time. Very good. <laughs> we're going live. It's the first time we're going to be in the same room together live on the internet in a long, maybe ever, except for the Reddit we did a long time ago. And uh, it should be a real shit show. And if you can't make it because you're working or you're in a crazy time zone, you can buy the ticket and we'll give you a password so you can watch it on YouTube. You, you know what the nickname for Spenny's penis is? What? Reddit. Reddit. What's that Reddit? Um, cool. Well, the link will be in the comments and description to, to buy the tickets. Um, so, like, lastly, like... Um, by this time, you guys have probably realized that, like, no matter how much time passes, like, the hey, fans like, will always like fucking... Sorry? That you say like too much? We've noticed. Go ahead. <laughs> I didn't notice. You guys got me nervous. I, I, I it's love you. Rude. Guys. It's so rude. The guy's, like, giving us an You're, incredible I'm interview. Rude. Rudest? Go, go ahead, Mr. Sir. It's you. It's you, too, <laughs> Mr. Sir. you gotta say like. You gotta say things are lit. You gotta... The kids won't listen unless you, you know? Fuck, fuck the kids. Go ahead. <laughs> That's what you do. That's what you do. <laughs> I walked into that one. Go ahead. Um, you guys have probably realized by now the fans will always want more from you guys, no matter how much time passes, no matter whatever. Like, what's what's next? Is there more shit after the New Year's thing, or are you guys? What's well, Spenny, if Spenny had a career or a job or any money, I wouldn't even be doing this. I'm happy. I I'd kill this in a second. I'm actually just doing this to help him, and he's so un appreciative it's disgusting 
Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Spenny, do you ever feel like you should loosen up? And, and you know, when Kenny was telling you to loosen up. What are you talking yeah. about? Loose? I'm loose. What do you mean? Loose? Not, not your sphincter, like your, your personality. I'm much looser than he is, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah, you sure uh, are. I think he's delusional, narcissistic. He's he that he he's got some mental issues. I do too. His or his and mine are mine. But uh, I don't know what this loosen up thing is. Fair enough, loosen up, bro. Pouring a fucking play some bids. Play some bids. <laughs> oh, video games. There he goes. He's trying to get me out. He's trying to fucking chew drive. some gum. Play some bids. Yeah, that'll get you smart, Kenny. Kenny, there and was a shot in the show. There was a shot in the show where you were playing Doom 3. Was that just for a shot or do you, do you like Doom? I like first person shooters. I, I was, did a lot of online gaming. To me, it's, it's really just first person shooters, campaigns. Yeah. Uh, that was it, you know. All right, well, I'll let you guys get the fuck out of here. But, but, anything- I, but I was only playing Doom 3 because, you know, that came out, I tried it. And I, I can't remember, I seem to remember it sucking. But, you know, I think my favorite games have always been like Half-Life or call of duty call of pooty um but you know i i uh, good games a good game shit games are shit yeah yeah well yeah thanks guys you're both absolute legends i fucking love you guys merry uh, christmas merry christmas merry christmas buckos okay um, later grinch okay uh thanks for having us thanks yeah thank you guys have a great day all right peace out